My great-great-grandfather was a carpenter. My great-grandfather was a boat builder. My grandfather was a boat builder, craftsman. When I was younger, I never dreamed of being a carpenter. And the whole idea of becoming a businessman was like selling your soul to the man, you know? At the funeral of my grandfather, I thought to myself, you know, Dave, you never even spent a summer in the boat works, and now he's dead. What are you gonna do about that? So I thought, well, you know, I'm gonna learn a little something about carpentry to honor the family's tradition. I had no clue that by beginning on that path of learning something about carpentry, my whole life would go in that direction. There's something in our bones and in our blood, and I think it was the same for my, my grandfather. Adolph Hamilton was delightful to work with because he had a work attitude that I really admired. Amundsen Boat Works was started in 1887 by Gus Amundsen. There was a tremendous surge in racing sailboats and everybody was trying to build the fastest possible sailboat on the water. And for probably 65 or 70 years, the a Scow was the fastest boat in the world. It was just a terrifically good time to be in the boat business. <laughs> when we took over the Amazon Bowl Works. I needed somebody who had greater expertise than I did. I approached Adolph Amundsen and said, would you like to come back to your former Bowl Works? And sure enough, he called back and said, I think I'd like to come back. And so that was one of the greatest things that's ever happened to me. Adolph had the ability of doing great work and setting an example on what is good enough so that when people came in, they would always praise us for the boats that we built. They would always say, this is the most beautiful boat I've ever seen. And it didn't add much to the cost because he was so efficient. He could outperform us, even at his much greater age. I always wondered why in the world would he ever come to work with us? When he's 70 years old, he wanted to see if he could help this young guy succeed in what was his former business. The boat shop had been built down on, on the lake. There's a plaque in Lions Park. Talks about Gus Amundsen being the first boat builder out here. And I think the word ethic came from my grandfather to my father to us. David started out as a carpenter and he's been very successful since then. When my dad was first starting a family, he was a union carpenter and he got kicked around a good amount. My father felt that things could be done better than they were being done, that employees need to be treated well, that craftsmen should be free to be craftsmen, should be free to be creators. Uh, we saw our dad struggle through many years of early entrepreneurship. I remember when I was young, he got a Ford box van and painted it orange, put his number on the side, and drove around town, and then went and sat by the phone, hoping that it would ring. He got a few good jobs early on, and things started, but it was, it was very difficult in those early years. I think something that's in common with all of us Amundsen's, but certainly with him, is that he wants to shape his world in a positive way. After doing this for 40 years, I'm still passionate about it. I see what it does in the lives of the people that we work for, and I see what it does in the lives of the people that I work with. To be a good craftsman, you have to be whole. You have to be settled on the inside. In the end, that frees them up to be the creative people that, that they are and to produce a type of work where they can say, I am proud of what I've done. My great-grandfather and my grandfather, they had this constant pressure to improve, to make their boats faster and better. In many ways, we have the same pressure uh, on us as designers and as artisans to find better ways of not only doing things, but to improve the end product. And now myself and, and my son, Britt, are inheriting that tradition in the family of craftsmanship. And that kind of mentality of doing something custom, doing something creative, doing something that's fine, was there from the very beginning. They like what they're doing. That's very important. If you don't like what you're doing, you better find something else. I'm very proud of, proud of the family. Britt is a smart guy, and he's very conscientious, and I think Britt will do fine. The spaces that we live in, to some extent, shape who we are. They can reflect our character. They can reflect the ways that we want to live. And to be a company where we're able to build for the way that people want to live is a really meaningful thing. Uh, my great-grandfather, Adolf, was somebody who really gave his life to the work. 
Ultimately, I want to be able to honor people's homes, I want to be able to honor people's lives with that same mentality and with that same dedication.